there. This is how we bring the program to a close. Getting back to the market and getting the sense of the first trading day and what the second day most likely will look like. Ruti Mifakai Joe from Enterprise Tobroka, a trader and chief executive officer. Good morning. Thanks for coming through. Good morning, Bolton. Uh, thank you. Uh, the news is on the street from Corn Oil. Uh, PLC, one of the big seven oil retailers as far as the earnings are concerned. Talk us through this. Uh, well, uh, it's, it's quite a uh, good one coming this morning, though I've not really had time to um, look through the figures, but I believe that uh, at this time, investors definitely will have uh, a good uh, thinking, I mean, a, a, a good return for their investment. I've not really looked at the figures uh, precisely. Okay, okay. Let, me, let, me, let me quickly read it out. This came a little bit uh, overnight. Gross dividend, 2.15 billion. That's the gross dividend. Uh, but revenues coming in 82.9%. Net profit, about um, 23%. Uh, to about uh, 2.84 uh, a billion. Yesterday, uh, Cornwall finished unchanged when the market closes. Look into the uh, trading engine. Any time in terms of volume or price movement on this particular retailer? Well, the, the, actually, the shares is on high demand right now, and uh, I believe definitely there will be enough volume to make a, 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 to create a change in price at the end of trading session today. But is that the Investors are actually uh, just here for the shares right now, and, they, and I believe that uh, we're going to see that reflect in their prices, in their price as trading continues. Yes, uh, but again, we've, uh, let's, let's shift a little bit to the uh, industrial segment where yesterday we spoke so much on the program here about the cement makers, the construction companies, with the news all around the Papa Wharf roads that will be closed for a couple of several months, uh, costing billions, and the share price of these cement makers and construction companies. Uh, is there this news still coming through today? Is it affecting the prices? Yesterday, the industrial sector was up a massive more than one percent uh, yes today the, it is quite a different one because um, uh, investors and uh, operators have uh, gotten that news in brief and uh, right now the, the, the stock price of the uh, Julius Vega is actually trending at 10 percent up and uh, is very much in high demand and there's every likelihood that this trend is going to continue uh, until we see the price being driven to a very reasonable level because uh, this kind of diversification is quite a very welcome development and definitely is going to create another stream of income. It may not be in the media, but I believe the future is, looks very bright for Julius Berger. Uh, what about the cement makers, the uh, CCNN, uh, Shaka Cement, Lafarge Africa, and of course, uh, Dangote Cement? Uh, well, for them, right now, they, they're, still very, they're all still very stable. But I want to believe that uh, with the uh, construction, that the, with the release of some funds by the federal government or take off of some capital projects, definitely we are going to see that reflecting on the prices of these uh, uh, companies. And I believe that um, those ones are going to be the first major beneficiaries, then would they cement Lafayette Wafo and possibly CCNN. And uh, for that reason, CCNN, for instance, had been about 10 to 10 this morning. But we have yet to see the same reflection coming for uh, Lafayette Wapco and um, uh, Dangode Cement. I, I don't know how. What's, what's driving uh, CCNN, Cement Company of Northern Nigeria, based in Sokoto State? Is, is there, are we sniffing around for earnings from this company or any announcements, corporate news? Uh, well, I believe uh, investors somehow, due to some sentiment, they're trying to look at the gap between the two companies. Between CNN and the likes of Dangode Cement and uh, Mapa Duapo. Though, in terms of value, the, those ones are very far wide okay. apart. But I just take a consolation in buying CNN. I think they believe that in time past they'll be paying good dividends and definitely did that, uh, what is happening right now. It's definitely going to rub up on them more positively. Rosie Mifakaijo, thank you very much for your time today and thanks for bringing the program to a nice and decent close for this Tuesday, the 28th of June. I am Bosun Namafaye. I'll see you again tomorrow. Goodbye from Lagos.